Having good audio is such a huge part to having a good stream. The biggest issue I see is when people have audio cut out when they mute a source or change scenes. This is why I created a tool for StreamerBot and Sammy that will help you create smooth audio fades for any source inside of OBS. You can purchase it from the StreamUp website, but if you are a Patreon or a Kofi member of mine, you can download it and all of my other products for free from the Lippy Discord. If you want to create fades in OBS for free, then stay tuned until the end. Let's take a look at how this works. Put your rock over the stone. When you extract and open the folder you downloaded, you will be greeted with something that looks a little like this. I have a few extra files in mind, but don't worry. Head into folder one and make sure you download and use the StreamUp plug installer. It is free and it will make sure you have all the OBS plugins installed and up to date to make this product work. Once that is all done, we can start getting everything to work. We will look at StreamerBot first, then Sammy. I will leave a chapter marker in the description so you can just skip to Sammy if that's the bot you use. Open up StreamerBot and press import in the top left. Inside of folder two that you downloaded, you will see a StreamerBot folder. Open that, then you can click and drag the .sb file into the import string box in StreamerBot. If you can't drag it in, just open the .sb file with notepad and copy and paste all the contents into the import string box in StreamerBot. Once done, press import. This will create a new action called audio fade tool template. You can rename this to anything you want. Open it so you can see the sub actions. We need to configure all the settings. The first setting is the OBS source name, of which we want to control the audio. Double click on the set argument command. We need to change the value box to the name of the source in OBS. We need to make sure it is spelled exactly as it is in OBS. The best way is to find the source in OBS, then right click it and press rename. Then copy the highlighted name and paste that into the value box in StreamerBot. Then press OK. Now we can set the volume we want to fade the source to. Double click this command to change the volume. This is a percentage and not the actual decibels of audio. I will leave it at zero as I want it to completely fade out the audio. The last setting is the fade type. Setting this at zero will mean every time this action is triggered, it will fade the audio to what volume we set previously. Whereas if we set this setting to one, when this action is triggered, it will fade the audio to the volume we set previously. And then when it is triggered again, it will fade the audio volume to what it was at previously. I will leave it set to one. Next, we need to choose how we want to trigger this action. I will just use a Twitch follow so I can do a quick test. You can set this to anything, even add a button for your stream deck or something like that. When I press test, we will see this message. We will only see this for the first time we run this action as it will check to see if the fade filter exists in your OBS. And if not, it will create it for you. You can press yes if you would like to configure the settings of that fade in OBS. It will automatically open the filtered settings for change volume. Here you can change the duration for how long you want the fade to take and also the easing for it too. Once happy, go back to streaming bar and press OK. Now we can press the test button again and it will fade to zero then test it a second time and it will go back to 100%. If I adjust the volume manually in OBS and press test, it will fade to zero. Then the second test, it will return to the previous volume. Since this is a template, we can actually copy this action to control a different source. Right click the template action in StreamerBot and press duplicate. You can then double click it and give it a new name. As we did previous, we can set the settings. I will choose a new OBS source, for this example, I'll be using Wavelink and choose the volume of 20%. I will leave the fade type at one again because I like it to go both ways. Now I can add it to the trigger to test it. I will use the Twitch follow again. I can select the new fade action we made and then press test. It will ask me again to adjust the fade settings since it was a new OBS source. Then I'll press OK. Now when we press test, we can see it will fade to the volume percent we set and then back again. Simple. Now to combine all of that together into a single trigger. The best thing to do is to right click in the actions window and press add. 
give it a name like Audio Fade Master or just something like that and then press OK. Now right click in the sub action window and press actions and then run action. Search for the audio fade action we made earlier and be sure to uncheck the run action immediately box and press OK. Now do that again, but this time search for the other audio fade command we made earlier. Uncheck the run action immediately and press OK. This is a nested action. Now we can add this new action to a trigger. I'll use the Twitch follow again. But now when I press the test button, you will see these two sources in OBS fading up and down. Pretty cool, right? I will leave the timestamp to skip to the roundup of this tool. Open up Sammy, click bridge on the left and press install and extension. Search for the folder you downloaded earlier and open folder 2. Then Sammy and open the .sef file. This will create a new deck in Sammy. Open that deck, then double click the template button. We can configure all the settings, press the I on the top comment, then you can change the string text to the name of the OBS source you wish to control the audio of. It needs to be exactly spelt like it is in OBS. The best way to do this is to find the source in OBS, then right click it and press rename. Copy the text, then head back into Sammy and paste it into the box. We can then open the next comment and change the volume level we want the audio to fade to. This is a percentage and not the actual decibels of the audio. I will leave it at zero as I want it to completely fade out the audio. The last setting is the fade type. Setting this at zero will mean every time this action is triggered, it will fade the audio to what volume we set previously. Whereas if we set this setting to one, when the action is triggered, it will fade the audio to the volume we set previously. And then when it is triggered again, it will fade the audio to the volume it was previously. I will leave it set to one. Press save button, then close it. You can right click the template button and set a trigger for this button. For now though, I will be just using the handy run button to test it. So double click back into the template. When you press the run button at the bottom, you will see it fade the audio source out. Then when it is pressed a second time, it will fade the audio back in. If I adjust the volume manually, then press run, it will fade the audio out. Then when I press it a second time, it will fade back to the volume that it was previously. Now we can press save and close. Now, since this is a template, we can use this for multiple sources in OBS. Right click the template and press copy button. Press save, then on the main screen, create a new deck. Right click, then paste the button there. We can then resize it and everything like that. I will copy it again and paste it next to it. Open the newly pasted button. We can then edit the settings as we did previously. I will set the source name to another source in OBS. I will choose a volume percentage. This time I'm gonna put 40. Then I will save and close the button. You can totally press run and test it though, but for now, I will create one more button so I can trigger both of these buttons of the audio fades from a single trigger. The command we will add is the trigger button command. We will need the button ID of the audio fade. We can get it by pressing save and close, then right clicking on the previous buttons and click the button ID at the bottom. This will copy it. Head back to the newly created button and paste that into the button ID box. Copy and paste this command and press save and close. Get the other audio fade buttons ID and paste that into the bottom command that we just created. We can then press save and close. We can set a trigger for this button. That is completely up to you. I will use the run button to test it though. So when I press the run button, you'll see both of these audio sources fade to the volume that we set. Then when we press it a second time, it will go back to the previous volume percentage. Pretty snazzy, right? This tool will just add the icing on the cake. It will make your stream sound much more professional and making it so easy to do. Even if you close OBS, Sammy or Streamerbot, the tool will remember what volume it should fade back to. I would love to see what you use this tool for, so please share them with me on Twitter at Andy underscore Stone. If you enjoyed the video as well, crack the old like button. And if there is a tool you would like me to make, then let me know in the comments below and I will get straight on it. If you want to make fades in OBS for free, you can click right here. Thanks a lot for the support, everyone. Put your rock over the stone.